Hello everyone! In this video, planet Earth will be placed in the Alpha Centauri system. It will take the place of other planets in that system. You'll see what conditions would be like on Earth in each of those locations. All of this will be demonstrated using the Universe Sandbox Simulator. Let's get started! So, to begin with, I'll fly up to the star Alpha Centauri A. Here I am near Alpha Centauri A, and here we have a planet orbiting called Alpha Centauri AB. And this is a candidate planet. That is, it hasn't been confirmed yet. Well, it orbits in such a way that it's not in a single plane, but rather at a very steep angle like this. In Universe Sandbox, the planet looks like a gas giant. And since this is a candidate planet, but just as an experiment, I'll change all these planets to Earth, and it doesn't matter whether the planet has been disproved, confirmed, or is still a candidate. Now I'll fly up to the star Alpha Centauri B. Here's what the situation looks like here. There are indeed two planets here, but the first planet, Alpha Centauri BB, has now been definitively disproved. And there's also a second planet, Alpha Centauri BC, which is a candidate planet, meaning it hasn't been confirmed yet. And as we can see, these planets orbit quite close to their star, even within the black zone, it turns out. Of course, it would be extremely hot there. But still, I'm going to swap these planets for Earth here, and let's see what happens to Earth as a result. Here, the closest planet, the one that was disproved, looks extremely overheated. Now I will simply select our planet Earth and then replace it with that particular planet. Right away, something throws me back and the Earth starts heating up intensely. Well, anyway, it's clear. We'll come back and check later. And the second planet around the star Alpha Centauri B looks like this. Here too, it's a very rocky, barren planet. And I also replace it with our own Earth. And now we have the most interesting star and its fascinating planets left, Proxima Centauri. And here, there are three planets orbiting it. Right now, you can see two of them. The first is Proxima Centauri D. This is a candidate planet. And of course, Proxima Centauri B is a confirmed exoplanet discovery. The third planet is also a candidate planet called Proxima Centauri C. Here in the simulator, it is indicated that Proxima Centauri B is located at the border between the green and red zones. So possibly, it could have the best conditions for Earth-like life. Let's see. The very first planet from the star Proxima Centauri, which is a candidate planet, truly looks like this. And now, for comparison, I replace it with our own planet Earth. Now the planet Proxima B, this is precisely how it looks in this simulator. I also replace it with our own planet Earth. And then there's this third, more distant planet on the far orbit, Proxima Centauri C. This is how it looks in Universe Sandbox. I also replace it with our magnificent planet Earth. Guys, I fast forwarded quite a bit of time, with no more than one month passing per second the whole time. So the simulation is as accurate as possible. About 55 years have passed, I think. I've already checked that the temperature on all the planets has stabilized. Now let's see what Earth turned out like in the orbit of each star. And let's start with the star Alpha Centauri A. Here, our planet is orbiting. I'll show you the habitable zone once again. Basically, Earth is kind of on the edge between the red and green zones here. If you look at this area, well, let's see what's going on with it. Well, things are pretty grim here, of course. Earth looks like a second Venus. Look at its appearance. Of course, yes, there are two stars here. That's why it's illuminated like this. Let's take a look at the surface. What's happening there? Oh, it seems there's still some liquid and a bit of water remaining. And the surface is strange, all white for some reason. The average temperature on such a planet turned out to be about 82 degrees Celsius, and the surface pressure is over 15 atmospheres. And the greenhouse effect is 91 degrees. And now, let's see what happened with the atmosphere here overall. Oxygen and here's some carbon dioxide left. But the atmosphere has become saturated mainly with water vapor. And also this white haze that you see, it's spread out here as well. This turns out to be argon, liquid argon as I understand it, and of course there's water, but it says here that there's very little argon. I don't know what this white haze is. Well, maybe argon is to blame. But look, even with all of this, there's still a significant 9% chance of life remaining. So, in short, we've realized that things are pretty bleak on this planet. Well, as for the star Alpha Centauri B, I think the situation is even more depressing. Because as you can see, the planets here are very close to their star. That's why even from here, you can see the burning tail from the Earth that's closest to the star. If you switch to human eye mode, you can see this, this hot tail coming off the first Earth. And yes, if you look closer, our planet here looks just like a comet. The average temperature on this planet turned out to be 1302 degrees Celsius. Incredible heat. I'll also show you what's on the surface of this Earth. 
I'll turn off the atmosphere and clouds from the display. Well, as you can see, the surface here is molten, everything is burned, everything is extremely hot. So you could say this is a yellow-white earth. Well, it's pretty clear. But the dense atmosphere is still holding on for now, even though time was fast-forwarded. The surface pressure here is 272 atmospheres, which is roughly three times higher than on Venus. Well, this dense atmosphere formed mainly from water vapor, because all the oceans evaporated into the atmosphere. And under these conditions, it's clear that no life can exist on the surface of the Earth. Now the second Earth, the one that's a bit farther out than the first planet. It looks pretty much exactly the same as it did near Alpha Centauri A. Well, let's hide the atmosphere and the clouds and see what's truly going on at the surface here. But here, it's not as extremely hot as on the first planet around this particular star. Still, the situation is very similar. The surface is also heated. The temperature here is listed as 682 degrees Celsius and the pressure is 273 atmospheres. I don't want to repeat myself, but I'll show you that it's the same situation here. This water vapor has saturated the entire atmosphere on Earth. And again, there's no chance of life here either. Maybe the situation will be better around the star Proxima Centauri? I think it will be better because here the planet is much farther from its star. The orbit of this Earth, which is on the orbit of Proxima b, is especially interesting. But let's start by looking at the closest Earth. Here it looks like this. Again, we see a dense atmosphere, though it's a different color, because the star Proxima b shines with this yellowish tint, so the atmosphere is tinted as well. Well, let's see what's on the surface there. Oh, the situation here is better. Here we actually have some normal liquid. Let me turn on the flashlight so we can take a closer look. Well, we can see that the polar ice has melted. The ice from the Arctic Ocean is gone, flooding North America, and here Europe, Russia, Central Asia, everything is flooded. But along the equator, in some places, the water has receded instead. In Antarctica, it's the same situation. There's no ice. But even though there is land here, the average temperature turned out to be 196 degrees Celsius. And the surface pressure is 85 atmospheres. That's almost like Venus. And apparently, it's this pressure that saves liquid water on Earth. Why doesn't it evaporate? Because the pressure holds the water in place. The higher the surface pressure, the higher the boiling point of water will be on the planet. Here too, we only see a change in the concentration of water vapor in the atmosphere. It makes up more than 86 atmospheres of Earth's pressure, and there is still liquid water present. However, there's a bit less of it now, because some of that water has gone into the atmosphere. And there's a tiny tiny probability of life, just over 1%. And now probably we will look at the most interesting version of Earth today. This is planet Earth in the orbit of Proxima b Nasha Tammimurya Taoichi. And yes, I was right. Look at how it appears. Here, everything is fine with Earth. We see vegetation, greenery on the surface, everything is good. And of course, we can see the lights of the cities at night. On such an Earth, the average temperature turned out to be a little over 3 degrees Celsius. That's actually colder than in the solar system, but not by much. In the solar system, according to Universe Sandbox, the average temperature is 7 to 8 degrees. And the resulting pressure turned out to be exactly 1.09 atmospheres. Very good. Here, of course, the changes are really very minimal. The composition of the atmosphere is also just fine. And the probability of life is at a very high level, almost 93%. Well, let's also take a closer look at the Earth's surface. Everything looks pretty normal. Yes, it has gotten a bit colder. In Antarctica, this is basically how everything looks. Well, the equator is green with a normal temperature. And actually, it will even become a bit more comfortable there, not as hot as before. Before. The simulator indicates that the maximum temperature is around 17 degrees Celsius. And I think apparently that's somewhere in the equatorial zones near bodies of water. Yeah, I was right. If you hover over the equator in the Atlantic Ocean, this is exactly where you find that maximum temperature, almost 17 degrees Celsius. And now I also want to show you, using Universe Sandbox as an example, what a sunset of the star Proxima Centauri would look like on Earth. It's just incredible. Maybe someone else is interested, so I'll mention that the Earth completes a full orbit around the star Proxima Centauri. That means a year on Earth here lasts just over 11 days. And now we have one last Earth left. This is the third one, orbiting Proxima Centauri at a very distant orbit. You can even see here that it's not in the same plane as the first two planets. And of course, this is a very distant blue zone where it's extremely cold. The planet looks dim, frozen, and quite desolate, something like that. Or... The average temperature on this Earth turned out to be minus 182 degrees Celsius. 
By the way, it's interesting that even at such a temperature, the surface pressure is almost one atmosphere. I'll also hide the atmosphere and clouds, and light it up like this so you can see that it's basically an icy ball. There are areas with liquid water, but that's just how the simulator works. It doesn't seem to want to freeze the earth completely. I looked at the composition of the atmosphere and there's something interesting here. One element is completely gone, carbon dioxide. And by the way, it ended up as ice on the surface of the earth, meaning it simply fell out of the atmosphere onto the surface and turned from a gas into a solid. But despite all this, I see that the probability of life on this planet is still quite high almost 47%. So that's the result of this experiment. The best conditions on Earth were found in the orbit of the star Proxima Centauri, specifically in the orbit of the exoplanet Proxima b. As you saw, it was just a bit colder there, but otherwise everything was basically fine. And if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like and leave a comment sharing your thoughts about what you saw. Thank you very much for watching and see you again in the universe.